Leopards fans, I'm Quinlan Moore coming to you from inside Fisher Stadium. After a tough loss to the Crimson, the Leopards return home to take on Patriot League foe Bucknell. Head coach John Garrett and a few players addressed the media moments ago. Let's see what they had to say. They are a good team. Uh, they're good on offense and they're good on, on defense. I think offensively when they made the quarterback change, it, it gave them a little bit of a life and they're playing better. Uh, they're executing more consistently. Um, and then defensively, they have a good scheme and, and good players. Uh, uh, both defensive line, they got productive linebackers and they got some speed in the secondary. So it'll be a good challenge uh, because of, uh, not only they have good personnel on defense, but a good scheme. And then back to offense, you know, they, they have versatility. They have uh, productive receivers. Uh, the quarterback, like I mentioned, is, is playing well and he's, he's showing uh, real consistent play. Uh, and then they have a couple runners that uh, are real productive. So uh, it's going to be a heck of a challenge in every phase. The biggest thing was uh, trusting in the surgery, obviously. It was, a, it was a big time surgery that took place. So kind of just building confidence in myself and like the ability that I have, like my knee wise. Um, so. I think with each game, I just kind of felt more and more comfortable with my body and how I was going to perform. I know I was named it three times, but it comes from the guys around me 100%. So the D-line in front of me, getting pressure, doing what they need to, it makes it easy for me to fit my gaps and do, be where I need to be. You got guys like Phil Parham in the back who are playing unbelievable. Um, it, it just makes my life easier. So I, though I have wanted, I can't take credit for that completely. It's the guys around me. Uh, I just felt like, you know, being as a freshman last year, just getting my feet wet, um, and, you know, in this next level of football, I think that was the main thing. I think building my technique from last year, from the coaching staff that, that taught me that. And unfortunately, my, uh, my season was cut short halfway with the shoulder injury. And uh, just coming back here on the field this year, I felt like, you know, the process of getting back healthy over the offseason, I really worked hard to make sure I was in the right situation uh, to you know, allow my team to be successful in any way possible. Um, so I feel like now, since I'm on the field, I think um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing injury free and I'm just blessed to be in that situation. Uh, it's been great. They, the, the whole room took me in and it was, uh, has really helped me uh, build my confidence in myself and uh, being able to be a tight end. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. The, our room is really a great group of guys and uh, uh, being able to learn from Dylan with his leadership and the knowledge that he has playing the position has been really very helpful for me. The Leopards will have their work cut out for them as Bucknell has the best overall record in the Patriot League at 3-3. Three three. They are 0-1 in Patriot League play with a 20-0 loss to Holy Cross. Kickoff is slated for 3-30 right here at Fisher Stadium. For all news and updates, check GoLeopards.com. Reporting for the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Quinlan Moore.